Fernando, let's start with FP2. Bit of tyre testing going on for everybody. How, how tricky is it going in there not knowing what the tyres are, how to, how, how to push or whether to push, where to push? Yeah, it was, it was I mean, a little bit uh, a different session than, than normal. Um, also, you cannot touch the car. Uh, you have to keep the same setup for the whole FP2. So whatever balance you get on the first round, you have to keep for the, for the re remaining of the session. So it was yeah interesting to to try and to have a first feel of next year's tyres, and um, yeah let's let's hope to to understand it better. I was going to ask you how hard you were pushing during FP2, but I think it was obvious from FP1 and FP2 that <laughs> you weren't leaving a lot on the table. <laughs> no, I'm I'm having fun. And this is a, a fun track, um, and yeah in FP2 uh, the tyre blanket is is reduced for next year. It's 50 degrees only, so a lot of warm up issues, a lot of sliding, and it was fun. It looked like it. All arms and elbows around here. How, how hooked up is the car? How confident do you feel in it, even after just that one FP1 run? Um, relatively confident. I think the car was good in FP1. Um, I'm not sure if this is one of the, our best tracks, to be honest. Uh, we felt that uh, we we missing a little bit, especially in the slow speed corners. So there are a couple of ideas now uh, tonight to, to change uh, things on the car. So tomorrow morning, I'm, I'm curious to see if we solve some of, of those problems. Given that you lost FP2 for any meaningful running, how critical will FP3 be? It's going to be important, yes. Um, and also, yeah, we're still debating if we will change engine on my car here oh. or in Mexico. So if that happens here, obviously FP3 will be even more important. Yeah, absolutely. And, and I guess then either for this weekend or for next weekend, could have huge ramifications in, in the fight with McLaren. Uh, yeah, it's going to be, a, it's going to have an, an impact for sure. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, it, it has to happen, unfortunately. Uh, so we will try to to make it on the most efficient weekend, and um, and yeah, uh, still aiming for points uh, every Sunday in the remaining races. So it should be enough to to keep McLaren behind.